Well, delivering 120 sprints successfully, let me first define what successful in this case means. Um, we're working in an agile way, uh, like most teams do nowadays, but um, what is usual in uh, a scrum or agile way of working is that by the end of the sprint, you tell the client how much of the work you were able to do and which part of the work is postponed into the next sprint. Um, the disadvantage of that is that you don't, um, you don't act reliable or predictable and uh, lots of other teams uh, are dependent on what you deliver but they cannot count on you because they don't know for sure if you are delivering what you promised. So our aim is to always deliver 100% of the things we promised. So um, in the sprint review meeting we're not telling what we were able to achieve, no, we're demonstrating and proving that we have um, built and tested and delivered everything that we promised, 100%. And we were able to do that 120 times in a row um, without uh, a single exception. All the sprints were delivered 100% right. Um, of course, a bug here and there, but we never had to postpone any single story of those sprints. How do we achieve that? Um, by, by, um, by having changed one of the other rules of um, Agile working, we uh, don't let everything depend on uh, the oral transformation of information. We, um, we have a solid requirements uh, process. Uh, everything is specified and written and documented. Um, so we communicate a lot with the team, but the specifications and the requirements are always written down and signed off by the client before the sprint starts. Which means that the team has a solid basis um, on, on which they can uh, calculate and, and um, define the the solutions or the architecture and can make the promise that they deliver the contents of the sprint 100% um, right. Um, that gives them the right to refuse the requirements if they think they, um, they cannot be successful based on the state of the requirements. So that's um, so, some sort of a ne negotiation between me and the team. If they think based on this input I cannot promise 100% correct output, then they're, they're able to refuse uh, their input. So that's something I had to learn, how to write solid and um, solid specifications that, that contain every little detail that they need to be successful. So what it takes is um, an honest communication. Um, if, if people think that's not good enough to, to build a promise on, then they need to be um, secure and they need to trust their own knowledge and their own abilities uh, and without hesitation say well I need better specifications please give me better input because I need to be able to promise my output um, and that mentality so in a friendly way telling that what you did isn't good enough for them to be successful that's that's a mindset or um, uh, it, it, it's something that you don't find in every company and we could find this in IW Connect, which is quite, quite special and uh, it's worth a lot to us.